Well, first of all, we can't have this teacher at the centre, teacher at the front of the classroom. We need to have teacher as a curator of a learning environment. So we need to restructure and remove our classrooms. And we're seeing a lot of this happening. There's some wonderful examples where kids learn together in groups. And what we need to see is the learning spaces designed around that. So we need to have environments where you can have technology around. It's, it's not front and centre. There are times when you will be doing something practical, you'll be making something, you won't need the technology. But it's available and it's around. So you need um, spaces for people to move around rather than cramped classrooms. Where there's another lecture theatre in the University of Technology in Sydney where uh, they, each row is on one level so the students can turn around and face the students behind them so you can work collaboratively. So a lecture theatre becomes a multiple um, activity learning space. So there are times when you want to hear somebody talking, somebody present, and there are times when you want to work together on, on an exercise of some sort. So it's having these flexible learning spaces with movable furniture and the availability for large screens so people can share what's on their laptops rather than people huddled around and thinking about people's posture and, and, and how they need to sit and stand and work together. So that a learning space needs to be designed with all those features in mind, not just the technology.